Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Bika here with the Elder Scrolls Legends Central. The Heroes of Skyrim Expansion Pack has been released on all platforms that Legends is available. And as you guys know, I love supporting Direwolf Digital and Bethesda on making this game that I've put hundreds of hours into. With that, I'm about to buy some packs with real money and open them for you guys right now. And there's a little special thing for me as well because I haven't actually been spoiled on all the Heroes of Skyrim cards. I actually avoided looking up all the cards beforehand on Reddit, on Legends as Deck. So a lot of the cards will be a big surprise to me and I'll be going over the art when I think about some of these cards that I get from the packs. So what's going to be happening in this video, I'm going to head on over to the store. I'm going to see what offers they have available for Heroes of Skyrim and we're going to go ahead and get some darn packs. So one thing one. I'm going to get the starter pack for $6.99 and then I'm going to probably go ahead and pick up, I'm thinking of picking up the $19.99 pack or the $40 pack, but I'm like, I could just go with the 15 packs to start off with and then go into 40, but I'm not sure right now. I have already, I already know I could buy the $50 pack because I bounced it out like this. I knew this was coming. And I was prepared for this. So I haven't decided yet, but for right now, let's just start it off by getting the, the the $6.99 pack, see what we get, and then we go from there. So just give me one second to buy the pack, and I'll be right back in literally now. All right, there you go. I'm back already. I just bought it. And as you guys will see right down here, I now have 11 Heroes of Skyrim packs. I even have one Legendary pack to open as well. And we got some new title. I don't actually know what the title is. I think it's the Globekin title. Let's go check it out by checking out the titles in the game. Don't worry about my losses. I was playing with a Dwemer deck to complete some freaking title stuff on my other game um, a few days ago and complete some quests. So that's what that's about. And they have also added a new thing where you actually get packs from completing quests. So we have this quest right now. Attack your opponent three times and we're going to get three packs. So that's pretty cool. And I also got this, um, this title when I logged into the game, Jack of the Trades because there's a new title added to the game very recently as well. So let's find that Dovakin title, which should be around here somewhere. Kind of wish it stood out a little bit. Ah, the Dovakin, a mortal warrior with the soul of a dragon. So that's my new title right there. Uh, I'm still gonna keep him as my avatar. I just think it's kind of badass, unless they gave me a new avatar, I should check. I don't know, I bought the pack. I wonder if I do get a new avatar. That's something the game has really did needed for a long time now. New avatars. No, it doesn't look like there's any new avatars anywhere. So, oh, too bad. We're going to have to wait till that comes out another time. So, let's go check out what cards I get from these packs. Let's go over them. Like I said, <clears throat> I'm not going to waste people's time. We're going to open up the big one first. Let's see. Okay, Ulfkith the Stormcloak. Okay, breakthrough. When you play a storm shout, draw a random Nord from your deck. All right, cool card right there. Could be very useful. Could synchronize very well with those zero zero. I mean, those zero cost Nord cards, the charge ones. Pretty good. So remember, a lot of these cards, even the common ones, I've not seen. So a lot of them, I'm gonna have my first ever reaction to. So I'm gonna close my eyes, wish for luck, and give me a legendary. It'll be funny when my first call is legendary. It's a neutral card. It is an item, a two plus three, three cost item. Hmm. There are a lot of items in this game. I'm not sure if this one's one I would really use that much. A two, it's not a bad, but there's a lot of items, other items in the game. All right. A shout fire breath. Okay, level one. Deals two damage to a creature. As it levels up, it'll do more. I think I saw this one online. Okay, this card right here, when your opponent, uh, when you summon another creature with five health or more, give it plus plus one and guard. Interesting card as a three drop because it has enough health to stay in the field for a while. It even has enough health at this point. I mean, it has a, the magical cost at three. You can combo it a, a lot at eight, at eight, turn eight. So it's definitely playable, definitely playable card if you're trying to go for a, a guard type deck. Not usually what I play, but I can see the synchronization with this card with a lot of other cards in the game. Ulfric uh, Zealot. Okay, what is this? Last Grass. Put a heavy battle axe into your hand. 
Okay, interesting card. I definitely like the whole 5-2 at a 4 cost. So I, I think this is a pretty good card right here. I actually love the art. The art on this card is pretty badass. I know that my camera is kind of blocking it, but it's, it's a really nice art looking card for a common card. Okay, here we get, we got a rare. Um, charge and guard. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting combo. You don't see that a lot. Charge with a guard. So this is a Nord, and that's gonna combo well with that um, Ulfric Stormcloak that we got earlier. It's a pretty big um, guard for five right there for cost. Uh, that's something. Okay, Thief of Dreams. Oh, this card. I saw this online. I was like, ah, oh, somebody tweeted this to me on um, Twitter, and I was like, this is nuts. See a vision of two of your opponent's card. Guess which one is in their hand. If you are right, draw a copy of it. Like, this is a Khajiit for sure. I'm like, I don't know about this. It's a five cost magic, a five five. I mean, it's definitely a monster you could play, but the effect is like so luck based. It's like, do you want to risk running this card in your deck? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to try out everything, but. That's that's a that's a risky play. Haven't gotten any dragons yet, so let's keep see if we can get a dragon. Ah, Unrelenting Force. We all know this. We all know this one right here, guys. Unsummon an enemy creature with three power or less, and this one gets powered up as it goes. Woodland Lookout. When you summon a dragon, gain four health. Definitely a very playable card. It could synchronize very well with dragons. Um, Talmor. I can't say that name. After you play an action summon a 1-1 one, one Talmor Soldier. Okay, that's something. Ah, my first dragon, and it's a common, Swift Dragon. It's an 8 cost 5-5 five, five charge. Okay, it's it's in red, so I, I'm going to let it be. If it wasn't any other color, I'd be kind of disappointed. But for red, it's probably easy enough ways to power it up. Especially with a lot of the cards coming out right now. Oh, the art on this card is badass. Look at her, man. All right. Um, Stormcloak. Inspiring Stormcloak. Last Grass. Summon a 2-2 Rally Stormcloak in each lane. This sounds pretty badass. I think I like this one right here. I definitely want to try that. Okay, Arrest. Steal an enemy creature. It loses guard and is impermanently shackled. That's an interesting one right there. <laughs> gonna have to songs the hell out of that creature to use it I guess or return it to your own hand mm. what the heck is this look at the card art like some of these arts are amazing like really nice work all right put a random animal in your hand hmm well, that's real, real luck-based card right there. Who says a? But playing with animals are not a negative thing anyway. So if some people want to play a deck like that. Fine. Stormcloak Vanguard Charge Last Grass. Put a five-five Stormcloak Battle Battalion in your hand. Okay. At a two cost with Charge and a Last Grass that gives you a five-five. I'm okay with that card. Get a lot of interesting red card. Dova. Okay. Action destroy a creature with four power or less and give a keyword to a random dragon in your hand. Oh I like this. I like that a lot. And it's in a color I would love to play. Willpower. Wolf Cage. I've seen this one. It's a support. Activate summon a uncage un uh, yeah, uncaged wolf. I don't know like how strong an uncaged wolf is, so that's gonna be interesting. I gotta look that up. Ah, Mystic Dragon, a card I definitely didn't know about and I did want to get because of the plain simple fact is Prophecy. And this card could already fit very well in a Prophecy deck that I've been working with. I actually am very happy to see this card. I need three copies of this card immediately. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Um, Miss Vile Enchanter. This card art is awesome. Look at the mist around. I would love to get a premium version of this card because I just like how it looks. All right, ward summon plus two slash zero if you have another creature with ward. Oh, very interesting for ward decks. All right, another. I'll take another one. I don't need another one of those. Okay, insightful scholar prophecy summon. Draw a card for each of your cards. Uh, draw a card for each card your opponent drew this turn. 
ah, I'm not. I don't like this card. I just. I don't think I'll be play game. Not at, at five costs, even as prophecy. I'm gonna play it. I mean, the whole thing about it is like I said. I have a prophecy deck. So prophecy deck and intelligence. Intelligence is just a powerful freaking attribute. It's one of the top in the game, if not the top. I'm not sure what everybody thinks the most powerful attribute, but I really feel like intelligence is really up there. Strength is up there as well. Okay, Priest of Eight. Uh, summon, draw a card if you have two or more other willpower creatures. Definitely know where that could fit in. Um, not going to be playing this. Okay, item, Glass of Helm of Remedy. The helmet looks badass. Plus four summon, you gain four health. Okay, it's something. <clears throat> it's something. <laughs> the commons are coming, my god. Sorry I don't got nothing that crazy yet. It's a card, we'll just say like this, it's a card. Um, Slight less skulk. Draw a card if you have two or more. Okay, it's another one of these. Where are my dragons at, man? Where are my dragons? Where are the dragons? Okay, uh, plus two to summon an enemy creature. Uh, summon enemy creatures lose guard. Love this. Love this. This is. Oh yeah, because this could. Re this is so good because of the fact it's not an action. So like cultists can't mess with this. Because if you run Intimidate um, in a red deck and your opponent has Cultists in their deck, it just messes you up because now Intimidate costs an extra one. But this as a two cost already is an item. It increases your attack and your enemy creatures lose guard. This is going to be one of the... This is this is super powerful. I can't... There are so many cards that are going to combo well with this in red. This is a really powerful card. Can't wait to see this card in play. I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid. This is the first card I've gotten so far I'm real afraid to see in rank play. Because <clears throat> people are going to use the heck out of that one. South Heart Giant. 6'4". Big Giant. It's going to smack you with a club. Alright, we got an Epic. Give a creature in your deck plus 2-2. Two, two. So, a complete random creature. What you may never draw. Okay. That's a card. That I'm probably not going to be playing much, but it's a card. Prophecy, Ward, and Guard power this up give this thing yeah there you go those two combo quite well together right there <laughs> at turn four you could put them both on the field at the same exact time well I'll put it with the item oh what is this I, I like the arts are just catching my attention guard it's a well it's a three five five magical cost guard summon give your um, activated support and extra use. Okay. You may activate your support an extra time each turn. Wow. Wow. That is nuts. That card combos well so well with the sword. A gold brand. This and gold brand are devastating together. Oh, yeah, this card's gonna be played by some people. People who like support decks, they're gonna play the hell out of this card. Oh, yeah, I, I like that one right there. Another one of her. Soul Tear. What is this? A shout. Draw a card. Draw a creature from your discard pile. A, a two cost? A it's just a two cost. Draw a creature from your discard pile. An endurance? This is insanely powerful. Holy moly, that's in a power. What is the level up forms of this card like? And this is a common? Oh, I'm getting three copies of those. This is another game changer right here. I got a deck that I want to put this in immediately. Okay. Berserker of a uh, Pale. When you summon another creature with five power or more, give it plus one, one, and breakthrough. Hmm. Okay, so keep this on the field. It's very interesting. Another one of these. Another one of the lonely one 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 soldier with two two. 
Okay, I'll take another one of those. Why not? Ah, finally, dragons! Okay, share point dragon. Summon, give a creature a minus two, minus two. When you reduce a creature's power or health with another, uh, with an, uh, when you reduce a creature's power or health with another effect, reduce it by extra one. All right. Um, it combos really well with curse. Could see it gets on play. Dark rebirth. Sacrifice a creature to summon a copy of it. Is this going to be like in every single last grasp deck? Like, this seems nuts. Sacrifice a creature and summon a... It doesn't say put it in your hand. It summons another copy of it instantly. There are so many creatures that combo well with this. Man, like, think about... Look, think about, um... Oh, man, not, not Hex... Not, the Mage, that's a... It's a 7-cost card when you destroy it. It does six damage to all your opponent's creatures. Oh my god, what's it called? I'll show it to you guys after. I'm, I'm already thinking right now for this card. Hold on, we're gonna get back to this card in a second. Dart Rebirth sounds stupid interesting. Bandit Ringleader. Summon another friendly creature in this lane. Have Oh, friendly creatures have Pillifer. That's pretty cool. This turn. Soul Tear. Like it. What the hell? Dragon Plate Armor. Plus two two, okay. Summon, give plus two two if you have a dragon in your discard part. It's a solid pot. It's a plus four. Okay, cool. Hold on, we're gonna have to go back for a second. Ox Dark Rebirth, like there's some cards I've gotten now that are common cards that have me, like this is gonna change the way the game is played. We gotta take a second and look at some stuff real quick. So I've got a bunch of new cards. We gotta go over to um, Legendary real quick. And look at, yeah, right here. Uh, Idrillo Archmage. Archmage, so you can imagine that new item with Archmage. It's going to be nuts, guys. And I also want to mention, I did open up, I did buy four packs with the coins I had before I started the video, so I'm sorry that didn't get recorded. This was the only thing I got interested in that was um, that was really cool, was the uh, um, College of Winterhold. Activate, look at the three random one um, cost actions, and choose one to draw. Then increase the cost of the card this reveals by one so that's an interesting one right there but this lap this like i can't wait to combo the lap together there's a lot of great last grass cards out there that that card's gonna um really combo well with in general so i mean like exclusive schemer spy master like there's a lot of stuff even in the um, freaking right here like house carl with house carl that could win you the game Packmaster, that, that's her. Like, there's a there's a stupid lot of possibility. The Avenger, I can't wait to see what people are going to be doing with that card, man. Really can't wait. And it's only a three-cost card. There are some decks I already want to throw this thing in right now. Like, this card is going to be very interesting to me. Dark Rebirth. <laughs> really interesting card right there. Let's keep going. So we got 56 new cards, but we're not more dragons. We're still missing a lot of dragons, which definitely is disappointing. Young Dragonborn. What is this? All right. When Young Dragonborn slays a dragon, put a random shout in your hand. Wow. After you play a shout, Young Dragonborn gains plus one one. Like this. Like this a lot. That seems fun. Prophecy. Give a creature plus zero plus two. That's a prophecy. So I understand this defense being low. I've got a premium art epic. Okay, that's pretty nice. Shadow Master. Okay, summon. Give a friendly creature cover. Your opponent cannot attack. The opponent can't target it with actions until your next turn. This might be like the burglar, the Khajiit burglar's <laughs> best friend. Wow! This card is gonna be very fun. I'm glad I got a premium. This card's gonna be fun to play. Very fun to play. Okay, we got a mammoth. Stone Hill Mammoth. Summon, draw a card if you have two or more. Okay, endurance creature. 
very powerful card. Even if it like it's silence, it doesn't matter. Um, five two, th a three cost five two, in intelligence. What? Wh this is gonna be a big play in rank. Um, not rank. Sorry, in uh, arena. Arena. This card is gonna get played. Oh, you can be sure. This is an arena card. This is a top tier arena card. I see it already. Gloom Lurker, Prophecy, Summon, give a creature cover. Combos well with this card. They, I mean, it just goes well together in a deck with these cards. If you the creatures you want to give cover to. Soul Tear, another one of those. So I finally got three copies of this. Good, it's a shot I want to try. Oh, yes! For my Pillar for Monk! I've been waiting to get this. Yes, yes, yes. Drain, Pillar for, gain one Magicka this turn. I'm super hyped to try this card out. Super hyped. Another armor. Look out. Okay, what's this? When you summon a dragon, cliffside lookout gains plus one one. Not really much use to me right now because I don't have much of anything when it comes to really um dragons. So yeah. But I'm definitely gonna go. Imperial Champ. Alright, put a one two Step time guardsman with guard in your hand. Friendly guards have plus one. Let's see. All right here. Uh, draw a card. All right, last one. Last one. Ah, frost troll. I already want to combo this card with ash servant and a bunch of things. I should. I actually want to try playing with this card. Play with the trolls. I think that's actually a cool one. Another mammoth. More Prophecy Dragons. I want that card. I want three of those. A Shout. Uh, okay, Summon a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, cool. What is this? Put two random actions in your hand. Okay. It's going to get played. Not sure if I let the cost of three. I understand why it's three to balance it, but it's going to get played. Draw a card. If you have two other... Um, okay. Okay. All right, this is something five because it's five. I'll, I'll give it something. Not sure if I'll play it. Not sure if I'll play it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been the starter pack. I think that was an okay. Didn't I'm a little disappointed I didn't get much dragons right there, guys. But I'm gonna come back with another video where I'm gonna go ahead and buy and open up. We're gonna go for fifteen or fifth forty. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. You know, what? I'm gonna support the developers. I think I'm gonna go with forty. I could go with two 15s, but I'm going to go with 40. I'm going to go with the 40 pack and buy 40 cards open it. But I'm not going to let this video already be long enough. I want to say big shout out to Bethesda and Direwolf Digital. I love the look of the cards and I'm going to keep on supporting the game that I put so much hours into. It's a free to play game. And when I see something like this where I like what's happening with the game, I like what's I'm seeing, I'm going to support it. So this has been Biki here with the Untitled Game Show and the Elder Scrolls Legends Central. I'm going to have to get a lot more dragons to really make some decks that are playable. So I need more packs. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'll be back with that video very soon. For till next time, peace the heck out. Let me know, guys, how you guys are liking and lucking out in the Heroes of Skyrim. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.